So we got a call from the world famous Jason from the Primal Outdoors YouTube channel. His van is broke down and he's stuck out on the side of the road. So we are taking the roll back down. We're gonna go get him picked up and uh, hauled back to his shop. So Jason actually called me uh, yesterday evening about this when he broke down, but I was out on a recovery job that turned into a pretty uh, major search and rescue mission. So I wasn't able to head right down there. Luckily he was in a, a, a good spot to camp out for the night, nice and safe and a good turnout. So, uh, and this van is set up to be far more comfortable to stay the night in than most people's houses. So uh, it was no problem for him to stay there. Now it is the next morning. So uh, we are headed out. We got probably three-ish hours or so drive to get to him and then uh, see what he's got going on. So we are in Chamalt, Oregon. There's the building we took the sign off of. Uh, and we are gonna stop here and get some fuel. This place is always a cluster to get in and out of because people pull in front of you and just stare at you instead of getting out of the way. When you're back into your truck, it's still out in the highway. Thanks, lady. Okay. As you can see, it snows a lot here. They got all their uh, snow removal equipment sitting over there. Uh, Shamal always gets a ton of snow, but we're gonna find some here, pull up next to this guy, fuel up. There they got jackets on all the pumps so the death fluid doesn't freeze. There we are. Okay, a little bit of an update. Uh, talked to Jason, apparently he got his van running. Uh, it's a fuel pump, so I went under and he just hammered on the fuel tank and uh, it started working again for a bit. So he is now driving this way, as I am driving that way. And at some point we might meet in the middle and if he keeps on cruising right by, I'll just turn around and follow him. Or I will find him on the side of the road somewhere. Okay, time for some snacks. What do we want? We got breakfast, we got laundry. <laughs> root beer. All right, we got some road snacks. Truck's still there, that's good. So we are going to keep heading south and hopefully at some point past Jason headed to the north. And uh, hopefully he's just good to go and that makes this a really easy day. So at the end of this video, I'll put a link to the video where me and uh, my friend John removed the historic sign from that building right there so that it could get taken and, uh, and restored and rebuilt. Now unfortunately, that historic sign is not going to go back onto this building because that sign was for the Wheel Cafe, which was right there. Uh, but for the last 13 years, I think he said, that has been KJ's Cafe, and the Wheel Cafe hasn't existed. So uh, that sign is going to, some sign collectors and restorers uh, bought it, and uh, they're going to restore it just for their collection. Uh, so yeah, that sign won't be on that building anymore. Oh, I missed it, but uh, there goes Jason uh, right there. He just went by, so I guess I got to find a spot to turn around. All right, we pulled off in the snowplow turnaround. And I think I can spin around right here. There we go. He's calling me where I can tell him that yes, I am turning around. Look who it is. He's got his fancy camera out and everything. <laughs> Let's go say hi. I'm coming around to your side. Well, good morning, dueling vlogger. <laughs> dueling vlogger? Yeah, I know. How's it your going? Camera, your camera is always smaller than mine. It is. I'm using the uh, this little guy, the Pocket 2. And I'm using the one that you usually use. So this is Jason's van known as Sasquatch. 
Oh, you bought this thing for like 600 bucks? Oh, more than that, 2,000 bucks. That's probably the same bucks. thing. But he bought it and then completely built it into like this ultimate adventure machine you see here with four wheel drive and like everything. And, and now I guess it needs a fuel pump. And now Jason was broke down way over on the other side of the mountains. So I looked at trip check and it said, change required and all that. I'm like, yes, I get to try out my auto chains. And then Jason banged on the fuel tank and got it to start and run. He thought, I'm gonna try to limp it up over the mountain so that Casey doesn't have to drive in the snow. <laughs> I was so excited to drive in the snow and he was trying so hard to save me from having to drive my truck in the snow. So I have decided that even though we're in this parking lot here, I'm gonna use the auto chains to get from here to there. Just, just because. So this thing is luckily short enough that we can put it on the bed and not be over height. So I'll pull that sheave head off the back and load it up. Jason just reminded me, since he's not done building the ultimate adventure machine, is that in a couple months this thing will be over height because he's putting a high top conversion on it uh, to make it even more fun to adventure with. Uh, so if you want to see how to cut a van in half and make it taller, go check out his channel because I'm sure that will be on there. It will be in a couple months. Yeah. And this dude is such a big deal on YouTube that he has two channels. He just started a whole new one because he's, he's known for like super cinematic high, high end videos and apparently those weren't high end enough for him. So he started a whole nother channel that's even more high end, high quality videos. I did. See? Told you. All right, we got Sasquatch loaded up and tied down. I got a busted up forearm there. And uh, I gotta loosen that winch before we start driving so it's not yanking on that as it moves. And uh, we're gonna hit some auto chains on the way out of here and head back to town. <laughs> All right, let's go. on the pavement, get into the snow, chains go down, get out of the snow, back on the pavement, chains come up. Well worth it. Where's the button? Fuel pressure's a little low, but I think we can get it in the shop at least. Okay, so we made it here. Uh, we didn't film any of the driving here part because it was just driving boring down the highway. Uh, the van did start back up. It does it does run, but the fuel pressure is really low, so it doesn't like want to go very good. No. Good news is that means we can just unload it right here instead of trying to turn around and back into the shop. So, we'll get it unloaded and then uh, go from there. Okay, going to snug up the winch. Now we'll roll the bed back. This thing is so handy. So 
So I left the one chain on the tire right there, the axle, as a safety. So now, pull it up with the winch to loosen that chain. Take that off and then down it goes. Okay, we'll put it in park. Other way. Runs like a champ. What's the problem? Like the 20 pounds of fuel pressure might be an issue, but. said trying to pull up over the pass going over the mountain it was just pinging like crazy and stumbling and starting to starve of fuel because it was doing like 20 30 pounds of fuel pressure and that's just not enough what are these here for like the that is actually for my outside shower so i got my outside shower room here one of these rolls up to a heat exchanger that's hooked into my coolant system and then it comes back and then it comes out and then I can take a hot shower and the water. So can you pump out of like a creek or something like that and do that or is it yeah, a tank? Yeah, I can, it just depends. Like if the creek is super cold, it won't heat it enough. But if you get like summertime creek weather uh, or creek water temperature, then it will heat it up to like 95 to 100 degrees. I was going to guess outside shower, but I didn't want to sound dumb when I was wrong. So I yeah. didn't. So you did all that work and built all these custom brackets and your custom roof rack you built and did a whole deal on and now it's, it's got to go away because it's not going to work anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Come on. Put all that work in those brackets, had designed them, had them cut and bent, then I welded them all together. Desi you know, and then of course the rack is just, uh, you know, extruded aluminum, but still there was some design there and everything. And I really like it. It's a really nice rack. And it, and it won't fit anymore because you're doing a high top. You're doing a high top. And so I the ones for propane. propane. Oh, for your cook yeah, stove and all that. Yeah. So you have yeah, propane. So Where's your propane tank on this? Uh, it is on the other side, just in here. Oh, that little door that was yeah. on there? Mm -hmm. So what's this then? Uh, that little flap, that's for my Starlink. That's where I plug my Starlink in. So the cord goes in there and then Starlink goes up on top. That is shore power. Just an AC plug for short oh, power. Okay. Got your awning. Did you build all those sliders? I did not. AJ's 4x4 vans built the sliders. Uh, you should have claimed you built it. That would have been way better. Yeah. Oh. How big is it? It's, uh, it's about 7 gallons. And then, you know, it, it holds like 6.8. Yeah. And what are these? Your heat pipe for propane? Uh, yes. That is the propane heater. Uh, I finally got something right. What size tires? 35s. Some 18 inch wheels. Well, that is an amateur hour tour of Sasquatch. I'm um, sure Jason has like a video that goes through like the whole thing if you really I want to like do have two get into that. that yeah, oh, the two of them. Thing. He's got two of everything. He's two. twice as good. Two channels, two tour videos. I got to try to keep up with you, man. Got to try to keep and, up with the Joneses. And no fuel pumps. And no fuel pumps, yeah. All right, we're all unloaded. It's here at the shop. Don't run away. Aaron's here, he's gonna fix it. <laughs> You're that close. <laughs> I'm faster than you are. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop in the truck, head home. They're gonna get working on the van and we'll see you guys next time. See my cameras are smaller, my intros are, and outros are faster. It's Everything just like fits. a scaled down version. Yeah, yeah. exactly.